We found a way to deliver proteins into um, live human cells that are grown in a culture um, very efficiently uh, with the added bonus that we can do this without damaging the cells. So this has an impact in terms of what you can do in terms of cell biology, where the question is how does a cell work and what do proteins do and, and when the protein uh, does not function properly, how does this lead to disease? And, and so we can ask all those questions, dissect mechanisms of, of how a cell works. But it's also uh, extremely useful these days because um, you'll find that there are a lot of fields that, that are interested in modifying what cells do. And that's, for instance, the, the field of regenerative medicine, where you can take a cell and try to reprogram it into a different kind of cell. So for instance, you, you can take the, the, the fibroblast or the skin cell of a patient and try to reprogram this into a heart cell or into a liver cell. And to do this, uh, one option is to use proteins that can, uh, if delivered inside cells, can reprogram what the cell does, change it into a different kind of cell, and then you can use those cells as therapeutic tools themselves that can repair, repair damaged organs, re damaged uh, uh, tissues. You want to kill a cancer cell. Uh, what you can do to kill a cancer cell is deliver a protein that is known to be a tumor suppressor. It's almost like creating a Trojan horse for the cell. We are able to, in a sense, hijack uh, the cell and then use the cell chemistry to get those reagents to come out of what would be a, a, the equivalent of a Trojan horse. The, the surprise, and I think that um, that's been somewhat of a gamble, is that it's a little bit like kicking through the door, right? You're trying to kick through the door to get inside the cell. But by doing so, you can break the door, you can, you can damage the door, you can damage the cell. And the gamble was that a lot of people were hesitant to make those reagents more effective because of the, the danger for the cell. The danger that, yes, you got in, but you destroyed the membrane, you destroyed the, 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 the path, and uh, you, as a result, killed the cell, so what good does it make? And the surprise there is that, uh, and it was a surprise to us as well, is that despite being extremely efficient, despite presumably kicking through the door and getting in, uh, the, the cell is okay. And this is a combination of, of uh, testing a hypothesis, sort of having a clever guess, and also luck that led us to compounds that uh, all of a sudden worked really, really well.